Hello. Babylonia Fine, calling from the office of he whose name is not uttered by righteous men. Hey, Babs, what's shaking, baby? Well, we have a goods and services supplied inventory here. Um, the GSSI indicates that the recipient is a Brendan H. Willie, 11231 Vista Del Mar, Cloverdale, Indiana, 47402. Am I happen to know what? I guess the heat's off of yours truly. Our records indicate that we do not have a signed contract with a Mr. Willie. Uh, there is no problem. Tr tr trust me, uh, the deal's done. You don't have it in hand? You gave out goods and services without a signed contract, are you? Yeah, what? Say! Did you hit me over the head with some African daisies and then put me on a poultry truck going out of town? Uh, stuff happens and uh, it's hard for me to keep track. You know, my personal communicator also seems to be missing, the one with the speed dial button to the underworld. You got me, Babs. Uh, uh, listen, you can use mine. I mean, I mean, where are you? Flippin' Arkansas. Do me a favor, hon. Just wait right there. Yeah, right. You see? Hey, lady, you're looking kind of horny. Oh, please, spare me. Hey, 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 lady, you can't do oh, it. dry up. Everybody, out of the way. Come on, come on. There's nothing happening here. Kid, out of the way. Move it. Okay. What are you looking at? Come on, let's move it. We're out of here. Oh. Ta-da! What did you do? Check it out, man. Remember my dad? He's now lead guitarist for Nine Inch Nails. Ooh, yeah. Well, you remember Susu Hiltz? Yeah. She got cool, too, and then she blabbed, and now she's gonna fry. Bummer. But I was thinking we could save her if, even if it means we're ultimately doomed. Uh, ultimately doomed? Well, what do you mean we're ultimately doomed? That's the guy that insulted me. Oh. Real sorry about this, hon. Oh, gee, you could have lasted another, I don't know, 70 years, probably, you know, if you could have just kept your mouth shut. Boy, that is a lot of cool parties and fast times down the drink. You picture. But let's look at the bright side. They're getting a head start on the inevitable. Of course, I don't know if it's really worth getting a head start on something that's gonna, you know, go on for all time. <laughs> I don't suppose now. Hey! Hey! I've got a bone to pick with you! No more cool babe in Cloverdale. <laughs> Laugh with me. <laughs> If you're talking about tempting, not one, but two, who's your dorks? I did it. Yours truly. <laughs> oh, and sorry about the uh, African daisies. No, I'm asking who turned my swan back into an ugly duckling, thus voiding her deal because of material defect, huh? What? She went from babe to beanpole, leaving me with a worthless contract. Now, who did it? He did. <laughs> Twilight Day was, was yours? Uh, oh, when you went to get the contract and you came back, that, okay, that explains a lot. Uh, a babe like that and a bird like this, not to mention the country club. You came up with the country club, didn't you?
Think again, vampire. I have two deals here, which makes me the high point man and Mr. Big's new best friend in central Indiana. What contracts? Huh? Huh? has been pulling your pinafore all along. You're gonna take her word over mine? Well, I guess that's a yes. See ya.